Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn This with Mahesh. Uh, so as you see on the screen, today's topic is basically to look into whether the Google Cloud next 2023 videos. Uh, so I guess you would have already seen some of the videos. Some of them are yet to come. So will those videos help me to clear any Google Cloud certification? It could be Cloud Architect, Data Engineer, Associate Engineer, Cloud Professional, uh, ML Engineer. It could be any one of the, uh, the certifications which Google provides. In 2023, will they help me? Is the is the stuff which I want to discuss today? So, so let's get into the action. All right. So if you go to this uh, page or if you search uh, Google Next uh, 20 uh, Google Cloud Next 2023, you should definitely get some good number of uh, keynotes and some of the videos should be soon released. So this is something which you can definitely look into it. And a quick one: some of the cool features which was basically announced in the keynote by Thomas was something like uh, uh, Kubernetes Enterprise. That was something which was. Uh, uh, which which I was very fascinated to look at it uh, look at it and the cross cloud network uh, uh, Google distributed cloud which was uh, announced previous year itself I am not wrong so it's now generally available uh, more about TPUs uh, titanium uh, systems uh, and A3 series uh, so we had A2 series now A3 series and if you look primarily most of their stuff some uh, leaning towards artificial intelligence uh, the generative AI all those things so uh, I guess the entire theme is based on that so coming back to the topic so will these things help me uh, so the answer based on my understanding I would say none of the videos which we are going to see in uh, Google Cloud next 2023 will help us to clear a certification why it is very simple the reason is these are all features which are going to come in the uh, uh, these features will come in the future basically nice rhyme uh, features will come in the future so because they are not generally available some of them may be in uh, preview so some of them may be in a private preview so it may not be generally available so for example right cloud uh, uh, google distributed uh, cloud is generally available now it has been announced now so it has to be like people have to consume it documentations more documentations on it so only once that comes right possibly questions on that will be incorporated in the upcoming exams so now i told 2023 will not be helpful google cloud next 2023 videos will not be helpful so then what videos would be helpful so what i would suggest is always go a year back or two that will be helpful so for example if you go to the official youtube channel of google cloud so it's called as google cloud tech just go and search for google cloud next 2021 2022 is also okay or 2020 is also okay is what I would say so 2021 is the best one according to me the reason is anything like now it's almost two years right anything which was discussed at that point of time that stuff could be basically helpful in the exam there could be a feature say for example uh, <clears throat> anthos bigquery omni all those kind of stuffs were released at that point of period time 2020 2020 2020 2021 period so now they are generally available so questions on that definitely comes uh, basically so that can help you out and you can also see a playlist for 2021 similarly for 2022 also there should be a playlist it's just a matter of searching it so so according to me i would say uh, you can look into 2023 videos to just to know the cutting edge stuff, what's latest. So to get fascinated about it, yes. Uh, but if you are planning to clear a certifications, the previous year videos, 2022, 2021, 2020 videos will be really, really helpful uh, because there would be some good concepts which would have been explained at that point of time. And those products or those features would be generally available now because it's almost like two, three years. So questions on that definitely would come. So that's a small tip which I wanted to share. So do let me know your comments and feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you for watching.